Today's video is sponsored by Vendu. Hello, I've missed everybody over these past couple days. It's always so weird when I stop doing Happy Holidays, just the, the letdown, the relaxing, the calm after the storm. Today's video, I'm gonna be a little bit chatty. I wanna reflect what has been happening with all of the sales coming through and go over um, some of the challenges we've had and some of the excitement we've had. And then I have a couple things to exchange at Savers. I bought two coats for my kids that did not make the cut so i want to get a few more things for their thrifted gift bags that was the last video i did in happy holidays where i thrift gift bags for my three kids so i want to go to savers exchange those things and find some replacement pieces if you want to skip all of the numbers and talk about sales and all that i will put a timestamp stamp into when i am thrifting if you want to hear all about what's been going on with the sales that we've been running for happy holidays some of the results then stay tuned that's up next but check the timestamp if you want to skip ahead to thrifting as savers and then of course we'll end with a haul if you enjoy videos about thrifting and you want to follow my adventures and my journey as a reseller be sure to like this video and subscribe if you want to hear more from me hit the bell if you want to be notified you'll receive an email every time i upload a video all right let's talk about some sales thank you guys so much for participating in happy holidays this was my fourth year doing it it's always an adventure it always pushes me you definitely see a little bit more of the personal side of my life. Thank you for all of your sweet comments during happy holidays, all the love for Lumpy and for Tina and for Kim and my mom and my husband. You guys are just so great. Today we are dealing with all of the sales that came in and I don't say this in any way, shape or form to brag about my sales. I am genuinely blown away by the response to the deals of the day and Tina and I were discussing it because I often send out 40, 50% offers through Posture VA. And I've also done sales on Instagram. And I don't know what it was about the deal of the day, if it just went hand in hand with Happy Holidays, but it was the most successful promotion I've ever done in my career. In case you're unfamiliar with my deal of the day, I offered a promotion every day for 10 days during happy holidays and these are the sales that resulted in fact right now i'm at over sixty four hundred dollars in sales on the month this is the best month i've had all year i don't think i've ever exceeded sixty one sixty two hundred in a single month in my career on Poshmark. This is just talking Poshmark specifically. I think at this stage right now on eBay, I'm just shy of about 900 in sales. It's been pretty quiet over there because I just keep deleting listings on eBay and I haven't had time to list. So I don't think this is gonna be like a stellar month for eBay, but for Poshmark, thank you so much. I. I'm really tempted to just continue the sale for the rest of the month. I'm at like a little over 47,000 in sales on the year and I would love to hit 50,000. It's not impossible. I've only been over 50,000 in sales once on Poshmark and that was in 2021. And I'm thinking it's just because so many people were home that year ordering online. And then once the stores reopened and people went back, I saw a dip. I was leaning more into YouTube by that stage of the game. So 2022 was lower also with my dad. It's really interesting to look and see the trends. Anyway, with huge sales, always comes some hiccups. And I always feel like when I do these big sales, it really exposes me and any lack of organization or mistakes in inventory I've made through the years. So we've had a couple really big bundle orders where we're missing a couple things. Some things were sold in 2020, 2021, 2022, all before Vendu had the auto sales detection with the D-list feature that I live for right now. All of the mistakes, the double selling that occurred during, during the sale, and just for reference, we've sold 235 items, 234 around there since December 1st, uh, which is almost double what I usually do in a month. So we're processing a lot and a lot of people, because it was buy one, get one free, you know, there are tons of things going out the door. There were two items that just were not in inventory, just couldn't find them. They, they weren't showing up as sold. They weren't showing up in uh, tote scan. I know I've been lamenting about my inventory woes for years and I truly have just been making up for poor organization like my entire career as a reseller on Poshmark and 
Tina has been an enormous help with that. Tina's a real firm believer in just closing a loop. So if she photographs something, she does the measurements, she inventories it, she writes where it is in inventory. In Vendu, she puts the skew, and then we also tote scan it. So recent stuff, we don't really have a lot of issues with. It's the older stuff when we would photograph stuff, but then it wouldn't get put in inventory for weeks. And then we didn't have the auto sales detection and delist, relist feature from Vendu. So I would have to mark things sold, which even at the time, when you could just mark something sold and it would delist off the other platforms using Vendu, that was a treat. That was, that was a step in the right direction. And now it's one step further. And actually today's video is sponsored by Vendu. I'm very excited to announce that they have also added the delist, relist feature and auto sales detection to Mercari and Depop. So now that feature is on four platforms, eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Depop. That's auto sales detection and delist. And what that means is if something sells on one platform, it will automatically detect that it has sold and it will delist it from all of the other platforms. So if you're somebody who cross lists to multiple platforms, not just Poshmark and eBay, if you also do Mercari and Depop, those are the big four, it would take it off all of those other platforms platforms, which makes it even more valuable because for me, it's taking it off one platform. But imagine if it's detected and it removes that sale from three or four platforms now. It's really, really exciting. So not only can you cross list your items to so many marketplaces, now you can also use the sales detection and auto delist with Mercari and Depop. If you want to try Vendu, Click the link in my description. You'll save 25% off your first month of service. Give this auto sales detection and D-list a try. As I am processing all of these sales, which I am so grateful for, I am reminded of how important it is to have a good inventory system and to have a service like Vendu that can help me stay organized. I'm now at about 1,500 items in my inventory. So, hey lumps. As you know, I'm on a journey to lessen that amount. Hopefully I'll sell over 300 items this month, which is double what I normally sell. So that will definitely help in keeping my numbers lower. And with February approaching, when I do thriftless February, we are really going to dig into the inventory. Now that we have a really good handle on it, we have the auto delist and sales detection with Vendu. Our inventory system is better. Tina adds a SKU number so we know the bin things are in for all of the incoming inventory that's happening right now. So we double check our tote scan system so we have a SKU and we have tote scan to double check it. I'm really thinking that by the end of February we are going to be in such great shape. All right so this is kind of the quiet after yesterday's storm. It is. <laughs> so yesterday was like an $1,100 day and we just have never you know had to process so much so quickly. These are some of the things that we're working on there was a Mosimo jacket from Target. We just can't find it. I don't know if we inventoried it under something other than the title, but it was part of like a seven piece bundle. So I've reached out to this buyer. This buyer has asked me to sign this right here. Um, and I'm nervous to do it. We're gonna attempt that at some point today. I don't know if I'm just gonna do like Lori with a little heart. She wanted me to sign right here, which I thought was very sweet. This is a postcard from one of the places I buy my pens at. This is a bundle that sold. I extended the BOGO sale through today. And again, I think I will just scroll at the end um, everything that sold, but this is a St. John's sweater that I had listed for $75. And then they got this beautiful cashmere wrap from the Pure. I believe this was a bins pickup. This is flawless and gorgeous. This is such a beautiful, beautiful bundle for $75. I had this priced at $59. My husband bought these as a joke for work. I'm billing you for this conversation. And out of office, he got those as jokes for somebody at work. I don't know why it's on my table. This is a skirt that sold on eBay. The brand is called W by Worth. And this was an outright sale for $49. Hold on. Here's the label in case anybody wants to see. Really pretty. It's a maxi skirt that's tiered. It's so beautiful. So I have to weigh that because that's for eBay. This was sold to, this is a We The Free. It's called Lone Star Thermal. Look at this beautiful um, patchwork right here. Um, and the woman who bought it is a quilter. And that's why she loved this top so much. I thought that was so cool. This was 40% off. 
This is absolutely beautiful. And this is just a little boutique brand. I don't think this had anything to do with my sale. I just sent an offer. Um, this is the brand Entro. And this was definitely a style pickup. Isn't this gorgeous? I think, I don't know. Did she pay $20, $25 for it? This is our little cart from Ikea that we repurposed early on in my Slow Fashion Friday videos. Um, and this is our little work cart and it is fantastic we roll it out we have all the essentials on here we have our lint brush we have the um, tape gun scissors extra lint baby wipes thank you stickers poly mailers usps stuff all right what is this this is oh this is a scarf bundle that was a buy one get one really beautiful i think this was 25 dollars or 22 or 23 something like that and then a free scarf right here i think this scarf is by the brand echo and i found it interesting it was pretty patriotic and i think it was silk so i picked that up vintage this is a bundle with these beautiful madewell shoes that are a relatively recent pickup and then this belt this was another um bogo sale this is, a, I don't know if this is new with tag. I don't think so. This is the the Target brand, Shore, Shore something. It's a one-piece bathing suit and really pretty. One of these was 32 and one was like 28. So it was buy one, get one. So this was a $32 bundle, this North Face shirt. I have this North Face style shirt in like three different color waves and patterns. I remember buying them all at once and I'm surprised they're still around. This is the bundle where we're missing the Mosimo jacket, but then the same buyer who's been so tremendous, I think this was her third or fourth purchase during Happy Holidays, she put together a bundle of shirts. Um, so I'm probably going to move some of these over to this packaging because there's so much. This is all one buyer. Thank you so much. We're working on this. We also have some pretty big orders that are outside already, ready for pickup. And this, oh, that was a loud bark. Mm. Yes. What are you doing? Are you hungry? Where's Tina? Where's Tina? There she is. We had a little love fest going on. Oh, did you now? Yes, you did. Okay, so we're going to get these items shipped and then we're going to go to Savers. Hi, everybody. I'm sitting outside of my dentist because, as I mentioned at some point, I did crack a tooth um, the day before Thanksgiving and they are going to fix it. Then I have to go to the post office and then we're going to go to Savers. But I figured I should stop in and say hi before my mouth is pumped with Novocaine. It's probably a little bit quiet when we go thrifting. I'm so numb. All right, went to the post office, got my, got my tooth fixed. And now I am headed to Savers to return just Anthony's coat. Actually, my girlfriend Marguerite took the um, the suede jacket that I bought for Angelina and she's gonna give it to her daughter, Alana. Oh my God, my mouth is just not working just right now. Just got here and realized I brought the coat that I need to return, but I didn't bring the receipt. But I'm here, so we're going in. I wanna find a few more things for the kids and I'm not gonna talk anymore. <laughs> This is just an American Eagle sweatshirt that I think I'm gonna keep for me for the holidays. It's a large, it's oversized red. I like that. I'm also trying to find some stuff for my whatnot show. And I found this in a 2X and I think it's really lovely for the holidays. But this is by far the pick of the day. I found this new with tag Wrangler Barbie Mattel collab. Look at the shirt. It is so incredible. New with tag. Look at the button detail. Look at the back of the shirt. Oh my goodness. I haven't even looked at comps, but I am so excited. I can't believe this is new. I totally thought this was Johnny Was and I got so excited, but I still think it'll be great for whatnot. I just want to make sure it's not a stain. Oh no, I think it is. It's so pretty. Um, found a couple things for the kids. Jeans for Anthony, nothing too exciting. Let's go in a little. Okay, this little guy. You like being up here, don't you? He thinks he's human. So yesterday, when I went to Savers, uh, it was late in the day, I had my tooth fixed, 
and that went well, although I was very numb, so you didn't see much of me after that. Went to Savers, then I did some groceries, came home, and it was just kind of a busy night, so I didn't film. I didn't really get much, but I did get that Barbie piece, which blew me away because it was Tuesday at Savers and that is like 55 and older, you get like 30%. So it's always kind of picked over on Tuesdays and I didn't get there till like four or five o'clock. It was like dusk when I got there. So I really went in not expecting to find much for my business, which I didn't find many things. And I found a couple things for the kids that I'll share with you, but I found that Barbie shirt and oh my goodness, that is on the current website for $75. It is sold out in every size except for extra large and extra extra large or large and extra large, something like that. Sold out in the medium. I already got a $60 offer on eBay, but I, I didn't accept. There were only like five listings. Uh, four of them were from Italy and they were like $111 and then $35 to ship. And then the other one was a pre-owned one and it was priced at $85. There were no solds on it. So I priced mine at $79, which is the lowest out there and it's new with tag and it's a size that is unavailable right now. So I actually countered at 70 and I think I have six likes on Poshmark and countered with $70. I don't know why 70 is my magic number. Let me show you the shirt. It is so fantastic. I didn't even know this was out there. So funky. I'm gonna get in and show you all the details on this fabulous shirt. It's got like a little Barbie van. Um, it shows the back of Barbie on a horse. Look at these sleeves. Oh my goodness, they are snaps with the pink. The detail is just incredible on this shirt. It also has like, of course, the little Western piping right there. And it was great because I posted this on Instagram and a couple of people were like, oh my gosh, if that was my size, if it was a larger and extra large, I would buy it. I'm like, you can get it online, it's $75. It was priced at $8.49. I had a 20% off coupon, so I paid like $6.75 or something like that. I was so excited when I found this. So the day before, when I had gone specifically, I think it was on Sunday, not the day before, a few days ago, when I had gone specifically to pick up stuff for my kids before I shot my final video for Happy Holidays, I found these jeans. These were priced at $15.99. Tina took the tag off because we listed it. But these are Pilcro and the Letterpress. So they were $14.99 or $15.99 at Savers, 20% off coupon. They were new with tag and $150. $150 for these jeans. And I think these would look so cute with the Barbie shirt, but we have a wide leg at the bottom. We have these incredible buttons with the high waist and the little V in the front. No pockets. I'm not a huge fan of no pockets on the bum. They're beautiful. They're size 30, which is fantastic. So I'm probably going to list these at half off, probably at $75 and we'll see how it goes. But just these two items, Oh my gosh, so exciting. That is really all the excitement I have from what I'm listing. I did get on that Sunday, I thought about keeping this for myself and it was a little tight because it was a medium and uh, it's Soma Intimates or Soma Weekend. So Soma is like uh, an intimate lounge pajama wear brand and they're really nice. This is an eyelash sweater. Isn't this just gorgeous? This is going to be on my whatnot show on this Sunday, which I had to postpone because last week we were having all the crazy sales with deals of the day and I just couldn't do all the shipping from that plus a whatnot show shipping on Monday. So I postponed it a week and I think this is just a great piece for whatnot because you can really see how soft and cozy it is. This was priced at $12.99, but I thought I was buying it for myself. So I was like, whatever, I'll pay $9 for it or $10, whatever it is with the 20% off. But that's going to go in my whatnot show. So I do have a link for whatnot if you want to check out my show this weekend. If you use my link and it's your first time on whatnot, you'll get a $15 credit towards my show or anybody else's. You don't have to use it at my show. It's just there for you um, once you sign up. It just kind of hangs out there until you check out for the first time. And I would say that my average selling price on whatnot is about $15. So you could get a free item. You could get $15 off something. So that's going to whatnot. And then I'm just going to show you the few things that I got for my kids. I feel like I wasn't as excited about their bags this year. I think in years past, I have added little trinkets and maybe a game or some something 
other than clothing. And this year I just struggled, I think because my mentality has been so much in purge mode and my kids are kind of the same way. I do not have stuff kids. My kids are much more into going to concerts, going out to nice restaurants, like they like experiences. And when I grew up, I would be like, forget going out to dinner. I want to save money for a coach bag, like when I was 20, which I actually appreciate their way of looking at things. They don't really value stuff or brands so much. They, they like nice things. But anyway, it made it challenging this year. But I did get this for Rocco because he goes to the gym all the time. Anthony does too, but he's not a tank top guy. Rocco's like, this all the way. Yeah, Rocco will wear this with his gold chain and his Italian horn. Also, when I was shopping with Kim, I don't know if we showed this the Friday that we were in Boston, she got the same L.L. Bean shirt for one of her boys. Um, it was it was a larger size, so I didn't get it for Rocco, but she took it home because it's a Henley, but it's 40% wool, so it is a great base layer to keep you warm. Rocco likes this style anyways, and I recognized it right away. So $7.49, it has the wool in it and this will just be so nice but it's not picky which I really like and it's just soft and great so I got that for him and for Anthony Anthony was the one I was really looking for I ended up coming home with two things for Rocco this is the problem I am so particular about what I want to get for Anthony because he's particular like I would have loved to have gotten him that Nike sleeveless but I know he wouldn't wear it Rocco would so I got it for Ant. I got it for Rock but I did find Anthony an awesome pair of Levi's in his size with the distressing they're kind of like that rigid feel they're the workwear fit 3130s maybe that's it maybe it's just the workwear fit i love the color the cut everything about it they're like brand new they have those priced at in the 12 dollar range as well 12.99 which is usually what they price their levi's at so i think a couple weeks ago i picked up a pair of wedgie levi's and i picked them up because they always Price them high like this and I was just so excited that um, I found a pair and they were $5.99 but the sell through rate wasn't great on those. This is all I have for today's haul. We have about 80 items drafted between what we got on Friday. We have 32 items loaded for my whatnot show. We are locked and ready to go, ready for the holidays. My plan is to have Tina here on Monday. She's coming back because we're gonna have to ship everything for whatnot. We have a few stragglers in the basement that we need to still photograph, but then we'll have a nice chunk of items that we can kind of trickle out during that last week because I think um, Tina's only working one day next week and probably one day the week after Christmas. Can't believe this year is coming to a close. Oh, and I got this great red sweatshirt, which I love. This is like $5.99 or something like that. And it, it's the American Eagle Amazingly Soft. And it's red and it's a size large. It has like a split seam on the side. I have it layered with like a black tank top and it's just cozy and big and I love it and it was like five bucks and it's so festive. So I'm getting ready to hop on a live for my second channel. I do a weekly kind of live podcast with a pen friend. She was out of town on Monday when we typically shoot it so we're doing it today on time with Tata. So I'm hopping onto that call. Thank you all so much for all of the love during happy holidays for real that is always such a special time i have to reach down deep to get through those 10 days but i'm always so happy when it's a wrap it gets me in the spirit um, and i appreciate all of you sharing any time with Lori's Boston Found and me and my channel. Thank you so much. Happy holidays. I will be back next week. Um, I am doing Slow Fashion Friday this week. I'm tackling my dining room, which is a complete mess right now. Angie's getting home in about two hours. I had planned on tackling that room today, but the day just got away from me. Um, so I will be working on that tomorrow. Look forward to a Friday upload and then Sunday on Whatnot. Thank you so much to Vendu for sponsoring today's video. How exciting that they have the auto D list now in sales detection. Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Depop. Click the link in my description if you want to give them a try. You'll save 25% off your first month of service. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in a new video real soon. Bye guys. Love ya.